Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be filming my August favorites. To be honest, August was Mm, a really crappy month. I'm going through a lot of things right now personally and just in my personal life What was not so crappy about my August is that I discovered some bomb new makeup items and lifestyle items And I'm really pumped to share them with you guys because I just love favorites I say this all the time, but I love filming favorites So let's just go ahead and get started with my favorites so the first item that I want to mention to you guys, I'm actually wearing it right now. It's this earring and this necklace. I don't even know if you can see it in the viewfinder because it's so dainty and delicate. But this earring and this necklace is both from the Peach Box. This video is not sponsored by the Peach Box, but the Peach Box did send these items over my way. I got to pick them out. And this is not my first time working with Peach Box. They have a new collection. It's called the Cleo Lux. This collection is definitely up my alley. It's very minimal pieces and it's very delicate. Like this earring is just so delicate and just so dainty and I love that that's definitely my kind of jewelry style and then this necklace it's just like a dainty necklace with little stars on it and then the other item that I got to pick out were these hoop earrings so these are just like a smaller thicker hoop and these are just so pretty I've been wanting like a smaller thick hoop for a while now I've been seeing luster Lux wear these kind of hoops for a while and I was like that looks so pretty I'm not really into those big hoops right now I really want more like delicate simple pieces and with this collection the gold in this collection is very rich and very bright and I think that's just like a really nice different kind of gold to have I've been wearing these items with a lot of my makeup looks because I personally feel like jewelry can really bring up a whole vibe to a makeup look if you guys want to check out the peach boxes new collection I'll leave a link down below they are pricey but these items are very high quality the items that they sent me from last year are still going strong I wouldn't say that the crazy 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 pricey because I've seen other brands that are a lot more pricier but they are not like just 10 bucks for a piece about like 50 Australian bucks for a piece I also want to mention that every single piece that you get will come in this 30 box and it also comes in a little dust bag so you can travel with it and that's for each of the items which is amazing I think for the price presentation shipping and everything like that it comes very nicely and like I mentioned I've worked with them in the past so you would know that if I'm gonna work with someone again I love this stuff. Since we're talking about jewelry, I'm just going to talk about all of my non-makeup stuff first. I hope you guys don't mind. I usually do start off with makeup, but since we're already talking about jewelry, let's talk about my lifestyle stuff as well. So the next favorite I want to mention is actually my YouTube banner. I've been wanting to redo my YouTube banner for the longest time, but I don't own Photoshop and I'm just not really good with that kind of stuff. Dion, I hope I'm saying his name right, and if he's watching, hopefully I'm saying your name right. I'm not trying to butcher it but Duong and his girlfriend Ruth who is a subscriber they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to like do any rebranding or anything like that and I was like yeah I've been wanting a new banner and then they're like yep and they pretty much made a new YouTube banner for me and it is perfect it's so cute it's so minimal and the colors and the vibe if you guys haven't already seen it like check it out go check out their instagrams i will definitely leave them down below they were just so kind to do this for me when they didn't have to duong he is like i don't even know like i'm still shook that he did the writing for my banner because he's done work for like Nicki minaj and like just really big names i'm not really into like the hip-hop rap scene but he's done a lot of work for those kind of people you can see it on his feed and the work that he's done and ruth is just first off she's beautiful and second she's so talented she did like the graphic design for the banner and like they're just like a good duo you know what i mean i'm just so grateful that they even wanted to do it for me and I hope you guys will check out their work because they really deserve it and then the last lifestyle item is this SD converter thing so if you guys have the new MacBook you would know that it doesn't have a USB port and it also doesn't have an SD card port as well which makes editing and importing just a freaking nightmare so when I first bought my new laptop I bought it in like February March and I bought like a really crappy SD card card converter and that broke within like two weeks and ever since then I've been converting my footage to my old MacBook that has an SD converter I've been airdropping it to my new laptop it's been a whole process but I was like finally just buy a freaking SD converter and I saw Jess Conti mention this and pretty much it has three USB ports and one SD card port and it just connects to the new MacBook 
hole. And I got it in space grey because my laptop is the space grey and it just matches. And you guys know how I am with monochromatic things. I like everything to be matching. This also has one year warranty. So if anything goes wrong within one year, I can always get my money back or get it repaired. If you've been looking for like a good SD card or USB converter, for your new MacBook. I will highly recommend this brand. I'll leave the link down below. Okay, so now we can move on to makeup. I'm wearing most of the things on my face right now. So the first thing that I want to mention is obviously what's on my eyes, which is the Soul and the Ma palette. Specifically, I want to talk about the Ma palette. The Ma palette, honestly, is just so freaking stunning, especially for the middle blue shade. I think for $12 for this eyeshadow palette is so worth it, even just for this one shadow. It's so unique. The formula is out of this world and I think you need this palette. But yeah, this MAR palette is something else and I highly, highly recommend you get it. I mean, if you didn't watch my video and you haven't bought it yet, I'm saying it again. You gotta get it because it is literally so beautiful. That blue shade is stunning. I just want to quickly run down my eye look. So I first took the shade Dynamite from the Soul palette and I used this as my transition shade. And then I took the shade Unwind again from the the Soul palette and I use this a little bit lower in my crease and just to deepen up my eyes and then I went into the mild palette and I took the shade top down and I use this all over my lid keeping it very low to my lash line and this would create more of like a dark smoky eye and then after that I wet my brush and I use the shade gridlock which is the you know highlight of the mild palette and I put that all over my lid kind of creating more of like a glitter smoky eye and the dark brown really made the blue look a little bit more darker and deeper which is what I was going for and then for my lower lash line I just used dynamite again and then just to define it a little bit more I went back in with top down so that is the eyeshadow part for my eye look that I'm wearing today and I love it I love these two palettes together but again soul palette definitely could be replaced so the mar palette is just amazing like and then moving along to finish off my eye look I actually use my next favorite product which is the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Punch. So this is the yellow that I use in my bottom waterline and I've been using this so much in the past month. I feel like in July and August I created a lot of like blue looks and I love how blue and yellow contrast against each other so putting this in your waterline is something very different but something very easy to take your look to a different level. The Colourpop Creme Gel Liners are really really great for its price although you want to keep in mind with some of the Colourpop Creme Gel Liners some of them are really good and some of them are really bad. I don't know if the ones that I think are bad it was just a bad batch or something but Punch is amazing. I think it glides on the waterline so nicely and it really stays there and it does pick up that pigment. Although I wish the shade Punch was a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more brighter yellow. I think it looks great in the waterline. I definitely would wear something like Punch with blue looks like I am today or something that's very warm and orangey. So another downside about the Colourpop gel liners is the packaging. These are very, very fragile. I can't tell you how many of them have snapped off on me. I just realized that all my makeup favorites are Colourpop. Uh, is there any surprise in that? Or like, are you guys sick of it at this point. I did not notice that it was all Colourpop until now. Wow. Okay. But anyway, my next favorite is the House of Mirrors Face Duo. I believe this is getting discontinued and it's actually on sale now. I don't know by the time this video goes up if the sale is still on or if it's sold out. So I don't even know if there's any point of me mentioning it. But I have been really loving this bronzer in the past month. I did get sent this product specifically from Colourpop. I've been really loving this bronzer. It's more of like a neutral tone bronzer. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. So with these kind of bronzers, I feel like you can pair it a lot with different makeups because different eye looks, you do need different bronzers. Sometimes with more warmer looks, I want to use more of a warmer bronzer. When my eye look is a little bit more cooler, I want to use more of a neutral cool tone bronzer. Because again, I like to match. I like to be monochromatic. This palette is being discontinued. Any of their other press bronzers are amazing. I think Colourpop's press line is just amazing. Their blushes, their eyeshadows, their bronzers, their highlighters, like anything pressed from Colourpop works amazing and I love it so much. So this 
Face Duo. If it's on sale and you want to grab it, I mean grab it now before it's gone. And then we move along to the Super Shock Highlight in Thimble, which was part of the summer collection with the Solomar palette. And I've been loving this Super Shock Highlight. I just think it looks so wet on the skin and it's just so blinding. I still need to try out Flexitarian Lunch Money again. I have it in my collection, but I just haven't gotten the time to take it out and like just use it. I've been stuck on Thimble and I just think it looks so beautiful on the skin and with the super shock highlights you must use it with your fingers if you use it with a brush uh -uh, you're gonna hate it and that was me in the beginning but after I learned how to use it properly I love it so much so I have two lip favorites from Colourpop the first one being the ultra blotter lip in vitamin C which again was part of the summer collection from the Solomar palette but this color guys it's like my lips are better but a little bit more like orangey and it just looks so good so natural and it goes with so many different eye looks it definitely has replaced Zuma and Doozy which if you guys know those two shades are my favorite ultra blotted lip shades it's a beautiful shade and you guys need it okay you do. And then my last favorite is the lip color that I'm wearing right now, which is the ColourPop Let's Lipstick in the shade What's Your Sign. And this is part of the Kathleen Lights collection. This shade is just like I think it's my perfect nude as well as you guys can see on my lips today it just goes with any eye look and you guys know I love the Lux lipsticks I think it matches my skin tone really nicely it doesn't wash me out it's not too light but it's not too dark of a nude where it's not a nude anymore so this shade has been one of my favorites I've been wearing it a lot recently and then for my last favorite I have one skincare item for you guys this is the Tatcha water cream so Mika was selling like a face doer where you could get the deep cleanse and the water cream together for $40 which I know $40 for this puny for this puny ass little water cream and okay the cleanser is like a decent size but like still $40 it's like 20 bucks each did I pay $20 for this water cream I did okay and I don't know why I did I should just got the full size but I couldn't get the full size because I can't afford the full size. Like, Touch It is just so expensive, but I really, 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 really wanted to try at least one of their products because everybody raves about Tatcha like it's like the skincare brand right now and you know Tatcha is Japanese and you guys know I love Japan and anything Japanese so I just had to try it this product is almost finished and I can't tell you how sad I am about this like literally there's not there's not much left in here. Usually I won't mention skincare items in my favorites video unless I really do see a difference. And with moisturizers and stuff like that, like I really can't tell. I've only used this for the past month. I mean, it's such a small little cream. Like, it can only last you for a certain period. But Harry, my boyfriend, has been saying like, what's wrong with your skin these days? It's so plumped and soft. And I'm just like, touch of water cream maybe that's the only thing that I'm using different because my skincare routine is very very basic if I switch one thing out it's like I know what it is so the only thing that I replace in my skincare routine is the touch of water cream and only recently he's been saying that and for that reason I'm like it's gotta be this like what else could it be you guys are looking for a new moisturizer just save up some money get the water cream it works really nicely for me and I mean Harry is like obsessed with my skin right now and that guys is all of my favorites for this month hopefully you guys enjoyed everything I, I felt like I did ramble a lot in this video but I mean which favorites do I not ramble in you know what I mean I just when you just love a product you just want to keep talking and talking and talking about it that you kind of forget that you're just kind of going in circles about it so hopefully everything Everything made sense and my message did come through with each product. I will leave any related videos, any links, product links and profile links and just anything that you want to know about anything that I talked about today. I'll leave it all down below if you're curious of what I am wearing on my face today. I actually wrote everything down like foundation, concealers, powder. I'm going to write it in my description box and I want to make that more of a habit now. Um, just really noting down what foundation I wore every time I film and leave it in my description box So I am trying to improve and hopefully you guys will appreciate that just knowing what's on my face because I do get asked a lot What foundation you're wearing what powder what's your brows blah 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 blah. Okay, that was my August favorites I hope you guys enjoyed everything enjoyed watching the video I hope September will be a good month for you guys and a better month for me. It's Harry's birthday next month We're flying to Japan in October. It's one of my closest 
closest friend's birthday in September as well. September's gonna be really full on. Um, a lot of things are changing, like I mentioned. Yeah, I hope September will treat you guys nicely, and that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy watching, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to continue filming my favorites. Comment down below some of your favorites. I love hearing what you guys have to say and what you guys have been loving. You can talk about some of your favorite products from the month or just your month in general. Anything exciting happening, you know. I'm a really nosy person, so what's going on? Leave your comments down below and that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!